Mine is small, but Jesus, is that how you clap for Jesus?
They replied, some say John the Baptist, others say Elijah, and still others, Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. But what about you? He asked them. What about you? What do you say I am? Peter answered, you are the Messiah, the son of the living God. Jesus replied, blessed are you, Simon Peter, of Jonah. For this was not revealed to you by flesh and blood, but by my Father who is in heaven. I tell you that you, Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of it will not overcome it. Folks, keys are a significant of authority. When we came to this place, we wanted to rent the area, wanted to rent the, the premises, our host church gave us authority. The authority they gave us was the access, the key. We give you access and all the codes that will be able to let you enter this place. They handed it over to us, meaning they authorized us. Other than that, we would have been in, I would have been in prison by now. Because I would have broken into this place without the key. And I would have been, I would have been questioned a long time. In court, but we've been here almost about two years. And why? Authority was given to us. And so, Bible says when Jesus died and rose up, we all know the story. He happened to be in the camp of the evil one, and it's been known that it's he went to hell. It's not hell because nobody is in hell. Let me give you the scenario. The Bible doesn't tell us that somebody is, there is nobody in hell right now. Hell has been prepared already. It's been strategized. It's there. Heaven has been prepared. Nobody is in heaven. Nobody is in hell. It's, it's been like, let me give you this scenario. It's only God that is in heaven. With Jesus.
waste your money. It can be the time you want. Everybody is supposed to sleep for eight, at least nine. You want to sleep 13 hours. Lazy. It can be anything. Antichrist. Because you know, if you don't go to work, it's a sin. It's a sin. As the Bible says, but God created us as His own image and gave us work. He gave other men his work to do. God Himself worked, and in the seventh day, the Bible says He rested. So, work is part, is part of it. It's not a sin to work. You are not sinful because you are working. You are sweating, you sweat before you eat. It is what we were giving. So, anything that is against the teachings of God. It's an antichrist spirit, and you have to address it and know it. Let's move on. And so, key represents authority, power. Jesus said to Peter, I will give you the keys to the kingdom of heaven. And whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatever you lose on earth shall be loosed here. He gave to Peter and he gave to the church. Amen. You and I. So the things I say, the things you say as a Christian is very powerful. Amen. But because we don't see it, we don't cherish it. That is the importance of prayer. Amen. If I come, if I, if I need on my knees, if I lay down my knees and I pray to God and ask him what I need, whatever I talk about, whatever I pray about, must come to pass according to his word. Whatever we are praying and fasting about will come to pass. It's being strategized in heaven and it will be the day God will release it. It's missing. You see, let me tell you. You don't hear war happening like it happened years back um, during the old ages where First World War, Second World War. We don't hear them, but there is war. Why every country, even Ghana, you cannot just walk, wake up and say, I'm going to destroy them. Because they have armed themselves already. Sure. Every country by militias and armed. Why? Because for tomorrow, nobody knows. Such is what it happens in the spiritual realm. Don't just walk. During our prayer and fasting 21 days, do not just take it light. You are arming yourself. And when the enemy touches you, that ammunition, that some words you spoke, will release, will be released. But by the time it never missed the target. You see, that's why we say God takes the time to, to, to act. Because God, when God is acting on your behalf, he doesn't miss the target. And so, let's keep on. If you are fasting, fast. If you are waiting this 21 days, continue. Don't give up because your words carry power according to the word of God. He said, everything, I'll give you the power. He gave Peter the power, the authority because through him, such revelation was given. All the disciples say whatever. But Peter had the revelation. And so said, God, Jesus said, I will build my church through you. Not that it's anything. And that's the always I tell you guys. Why would Jesus had 12 men? I picked only one. And said, with you, I will build my church. There is always an umbrella God uses. Always. If you ask me why, I can't tell why, but it's a spiritual Every church you belong to is an umbrella. And whatever the pastor does happens and affects you. If it is negative, it will affect you. If it is positive, it will. I told you last week, I repeated my, I'm repeating myself today. That umbrella Christ mentioned with Peter is within the church. And when Peter being the head, Anointing through him to the disciples. Jesus didn't build his church 
around with any other disciple but through Peter. Because such revelation doesn't take man. It takes the Spirit of God to see and to understand. And so, let's move on. What about the keys to the kingdom of darkness, hell? God has not given Satan the power of the kingdom of hell. Satan don't. If he has the power of the kingdom of hell, he would have closed it for a long time. Why wouldn't he close it? Because the target is God has made that thing over there. And he is waiting to put him there. And he has the power. Imagine, what if you are the one, if, if you know um, you, you have a, a, a case with somebody and the person, uh, I mean, your father is a kufaru, the person. The person only lives here in America. And the person says, who oh, are will kill you? He doesn't know you have a father, a kufaru. What do you, what do you think he would do? You will talk to you all your father for your father to give you a protocol guide. And here in America, as we live, you will be guarded. You will have special guide. I remember some years back, somebody came to our house, said he, he is a, he, a cousin, his father is president or something. He used to be, his father used, he used, his father used to be one of the MPs or whatever, so they live in a special guarded place he was lying, big time lying to us. He wanted to take advantage of us and take our, take our money. He wanted us to trust him. That he, so we go out because he didn't want us to come to his house. No, 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 where I live? You can't just come there. It's a special place that the, the president has given to my father. We, we, are, we, we are surrounded with, 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 with a special guard. You have to come here with, you can't just come in. So please, he was trying to take advantage of us with that kind of notion. And so, you will be guarded. But here is a scenario I'm trying to bring across. If Satan knows and he has the power of hell, as some of us think, that some people, as we were going through the Bible, Mr. James was saying, some people think the money will be in hell, and some people will be in hell, and hell is going to be a nice place. You will get there and you'll be gnashing your teeth. Gnashing your teeth and be like, wow! I thought about money is here, but money is in heaven. How, what will you do? You know, Jesus, I'm sorry. I didn't know about money. Because when you die, you can't reverse anything. Too late. Let us be mindful of our environment. And so he said that us power to hell. He would have taken it off, cross it. Nobody will get in there. But he doesn't. Neither does he have power to help to heaven. He is just a being who is disobedient, trying to influence you and I. That is his work. Influencing, telling negative things about who God is, trying to make it up. That is all about it. Because hell is dead, locked. Heaven is locked. Nobody can get in. But hate and paradise is open. A place to rest. Because Bible says there will be judgment. When will the judgment come? It will come at the end of the age. Judgment will only take place when the, the earth is over. When heaven, when everything that we are doing, ba -ba 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 -ba, then, then the world will change. Christ will come, those who will be snatched will go, those who will be left over will be left over, then the Antichrist will take over the dragon as the revelation is talked about, there will be pain. The world is transcendent, folks, don't joke with it. A time is coming, we can't be here to preach. A time is coming, you said, Pastor said it, a time is coming. Churches will be closed down, everything concerning God will be shut down. A time is coming. And God will permit it because by then, by then, such pain coming and such stress, his elects have been taken and smashed out. They are gone. Oh, God. This one will pass out. Oh, God. 
Fique con el hombre de Dios. You see, it, it's, 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 it's biblical. It's coming from the book of Revelation. He said that any day Christ will snatch those who are yes. Before the tribulation will come. Tribulation is pain. Time of trouble. Time of trouble. Time that we cannot reach anywhere. Technology has you know it's coming. Recently I was I mean searching through movies to watch something and I was relaxing in the house and I click on the movie and I try I, I made a mistake, I should have written the name down because I didn't finish watching. I saw something very interesting. And I know that is where the world is heading towards. And I was discussing something with first lady. I told her. I started preaching when it was about quarter to twelve. Quarter to three. And so I can't touch my nose. If I look into my nose, you all will stay here till 4 p.m. You will take me too so much time. The other things, which is okay. But you see, as a pastor, I must strategize everything. I am not stuck into the nose. I must stuck. I've prepared it. I must start into it. I must watch the time and watch what we do. Move with allow the spirit of God to sing with you. Maybe the spirit of God wants us to hear this today. That was not my preaching. That was what I prepared. And the movie that as I was watching, I was telling you, was about, you could tell how technology has advanced. Cars were flying. No more driving. You see cars driving, there's few cars driving. And the speed, the rich cars are driving even on the ground was not normal. Cars are flying. Police are not normal human beings. Robots. Seriously, I was shocked. They go with they go with principles and procedure. There is no mercy, no pardon, no grace. That is where the world is heading towards. Policies and procedures, no mercy. So that under under the, the, the auction and the atmosphere of God, in the kingdom of God, there is discipline, there is judgment, but there is mercy and grace.
That is where the world is heading towards. That is why when you're at work, there are policies and procedures. If you miss it, it doesn't matter whether you relate to your Santini or your father is a Santini or even your father is the president of Ghana. Here in America, you'll be fired. No mercy. No mercy. This is where the world is sending to us. And don't let us fast, fancy into this world thinking we are covered. we are making the dollars. Oh, that's all about it. That is not all about it. The time is coming to not be about the dollars you are making. To not be about that. There will be no mercy. Under such environment, Christ is telling us to be awake. Power has been given us. Power has been given us. We have to utilize it now. We have to utilize it now. This is the moment of your time. It's, it's not fancy. It's not interesting. How many people go through fasting and prayer? to me. Was a fasting and prayer. Take it serious. Take a Christian walk serious. Take it serious because there is nothing you deserve, nothing you you should have that God will let you miss. Nothing. He didn't say anything. Nothing. There is nothing that should come to you that God will let you miss it here on earth. Nothing. Unless you don't believe it. And if you don't believe it, it will tell by the way you have a relationship with your God. If you don't believe him, you don't worry having a relationship with him. You don't fancy about his word. You don't check it. You don't care. What does the Bible say? Uh, 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 That is what the world is driving to now. You think it's, 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 it's ordinary? It's not. It's not ordinary. Somebody who said, kill me, destroy the temple, and in three days, I will rebuild it. Destroy the temple. They destroyed the temple. They didn't know he was talking about himself. They destroyed the temple and in three days he raised up. He came back. He built it back. Such is promising you. What else do you want to look at? Because all other the leaders, they promised. But they, they I mean, they couldn't, they couldn't give such a solid promise. I am the way. I am the way. It took only Jesus to say, I am the way. I would like you to be on your feet. I would like you to be on your feet. I would like you to be on your feet. And let's take a minute of prayer. Sing through your life. Let's go to God in prayer. Father, we thank you in this moment that you have projected your strength and your power for us. Lord, you have given us every doubt everything that we cannot be doubtful. You have given us all the assurance you have we, to overcome any groundwork of devil against whatever strategy he has to shun us from fasting and waiting upon you. And so Father, we pray, committing this week, the third week, as we wait in our Lord, we pray that you will be with us, you will stay with us, you will protect us, you will give us the strength and the energy and the power to move through, to fast through throughout the week. And Father, we will come up with testimony because you are going to break every yoke of the devil against our lives. Lord, as we live and touch onto the things of this world, we will be driving back and forth the week. We will be doing all kinds of things. Father, we need your protection. Ourselves and our entire family, our children. Thank you for answering our prayers. We commit those that really come to church onto your hands also. We pray the Lord you be with them. Thank you for blessing us in Jesus' mighty name. I pray for all pregnant women among us, O oh Lord. We pray that you give them strength 
as the journey, as they go through the, the nine months journey, you will give each one of them special strength and grace. Thank you, Father, for answering our prayers. And Jesus, continue to pray with us here. Let the church say, Amen. Amen. Let's share the grace together. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Glory to the blessing. Shalom.